That's right, folks. We have another Echoes of Wisdom video for you today because in our research and trying to figure things out, we have a pretty good look at part of the map for Echoes of Wisdom. And this matters because I made a statement over on X that this is the largest top-down Zelda game we've ever had, just in terms of a single map, in terms of how big that map is. Obviously, we don't know anything about the rifts or if there's you know, a dark world or any of that kind of stuff, but just in terms of the base map, this world is massive. Now, we all know when Echoes of Wisdom was originally revealed, the biggest map comparisons it was getting had to do with the Link to the Past. But we actually now have something to give you the scale of this map, including some of the map being revealed. And I want to talk about how it lines up or doesn't line up with the Link to the Past anymore. Now, before we dive in, I just want to remind you we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. And don't worry, we got images and everything for you guys. Feel free to reuse. But I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel because it helps support us continuing to do these deep dives and obviously digging into all the game news surrounding Echoes of Wisdom and Nintendo's other upcoming hits. All right. So first, we have this map up here at the very beginning of the five minute plus trailer that dropped from Nintendo on August 5th. And it, it kind of gives you a general layout of the entire map of Hyrule. There's a lot of stuff going on on this map. Obviously, you know that Hyrule Castle slash Castle Town is in the dead center. And then we don't really know what all the other locations on the map actually are. But we do see part of the map later on partially revealed in a zoomed in format during that video. And this looks like part of the, you, you can kind of see the outlines of the grander map in the areas that haven't been revealed but then you can also see areas that were revealed like we have Southorn Beach and Southorn Village those are two obvious locations we also have three warp points and I draw attention to the warp points because if this was in a Link to the Past style map those warp points that are at the bottom and towards the middle of, of your screen, those warp points would literally be like a one square difference between uh, where they are. So they would be absolutely pointless to exist uh, if this wasn't a significantly larger than it looks like just glancing at the map. But that's neither here nor there. Now, when we look at this, you can see some of the similarities that even might line up a little bit with a link to the past. If you see that body of water on the top right, you can argue that's like the Lake Hylia area. I don't think they're calling it that in this game. Maybe they still are. We haven't seen Lake Hylia mentioned yet, but uh, that could be potentially that area. But then if you look at the map of A Link to the Past, there is nothing below Lake Hylia. Everything is clouds and just like surrounded in. There is no, there, there's no expansion to the map. So this clearly expands the map if this is based on A Link to the Past well past what a link to the past actually was but even some of the geography isn't 100 percent perfect but you know they're obviously modernizing the geography so it doesn't need to be exactly one-to-one -to, -one to line up and it kind of does uh, a forest area now as actually more of a desert area it looks like instead uh, with d extra bodies of water that didn't appear in the original if you line up things with the old location of the flooded palace and actually the flooded palace is technically like still on the map so there's very much like a link to the past was the base for this and then they just sort of built on top but that's not what we want to focus on because I told you that this is a massive massive world well, what happens if you take what's revealed here with those outlines on the map and you try to line it up on top of that map that was at the very beginning of the trailer? Well, you end up with something a little bit like this. Now, you can actually see the outlines of everything really lining up because the, the map we got is pretty blurry and like in the background uh, at the beginning of the trailer, so we don't have a better look at it right now. But you can see that everything really does kind of line up. It really runs real nice into the rest of that map. And when you consider that, you can kind of draw a square. And you can sort of see where a Link to the Past map would end right at this little ridge off to uh, the right of what was Lake Hylia. At the bottom of this ridge is sort of being the old border of the map. And if you look at where that lines up with Hyrule Dead Center, you could sort of 
approximate how far left that would go. And then with that, you know, it's a square map and a link to the past. So you just make a square out of that. And that is the size of the A Link to the Past original map, at least if it was slapped on top of this map. But you can see this map is significantly larger than that. You can see that, you know, that, that little location that some people thought might have been Hyrule Castle in the upper left corner is actually something else entirely and is there on the grander big map. It could be a stables area as an example because of the horses. You still have Hyrule Castle. What's crazy is like we're zoomed in and Hyrule Castle isn't even visible on that little shot that we got with some of the map uncovered and there's obviously just a lot of new stuff a lot of areas have been renamed areas have been added so i do think that only to the past might have been the basis for the map originally but there's clearly been a lot of changes a lot of race changes a lot of other stuff have occurred that you know hyrule is just a much bigger grander place now so i'm just bringing this all up because it is kind of crazy to me how big this world is for a top-down Zelda game that we even need warp points, let alone three warp points seemingly so close to each other. At least those would feel close to each other in A Link to the Past, but in this game, they're really not because even that square we're talking about that would have been the original A Link to the Past's map, even that square, it's much bigger in each area we can see that when the characters walk around in the world and the footage that like those areas are a little bit bigger than what it looks like so i'm just going to sit back and say this is the closest we have to being able to map out echoes of wisdom i don't consider this to be any sort of spoilers or anything this is just piecing together public information we're not sitting here trying to be like here's the entire map of echoes of wisdom that's something that maybe we can do before launch at some point if we get enough images like this to piece together the map but right now we we don't have enough we have one uh map reveal image to line up with this grander image so you guys take that for what you will let me know what you think about this did this help clarify anything for you is this just a really neat find or do you think i'm just wasting my time i don't know you guys know I'll, i like to di deep dive into zelda and bring you guys all the biggest information out there uh so thank you so much for being here i am nathaniel rubble from nintendo prime and i'll catch you in the next video